what's up, Skywalker, with Imagination Creation Films, and today we're going to make the world sound just a little bit better by teaching you how to use equalizers, compressors, and noise gates within DaVinci Resolve to make even the cheapest microphone sound not so bad. So we're going to jump right in here on the tutorial here in just one moment before we do. Just a little housekeeping. I paid for this myself. Yep. I bought the Niwar Amazon microphone. It is literally the cheapest condenser microphone you can get on Amazon. I paid $18 for it. Yeah, it sounds uh, as good as you expect, but we can't make water into wine, but we can make this microphone sound a whole lot better. And we can make your microphones, which probably are a lot better than this one, sound even better. And I'm gonna show you how to do that within DaVinci Resolve, it's really fast. It takes me about three minutes now to go in and fix someone's dialogue. It's gonna take me a little bit longer to show you because I'm gonna have to explain it as we go. But once you understand it, it makes complete and total sense. Uh, you know what else makes sense? Subscribing. Yeah, be a good time to do that, like right now. And consider becoming a channel member. It's great, it's fun. So this microphone right here, this is a Niwar, newer whatever it is on Amazon. I paid $18 for it. And uh, it's a pretty bad condenser microphone. I, I probably would not want anyone to buy that microphone, but I wanna show you what we can do with it. So let's jump into Resolve and hear what it sounds like. Okay, let's go ahead and dive in here. What I have is a simple recording recorded by literally the cheapest microphone on Amazon. And this is what it sounds like. Getting good sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve does not have to be difficult at all. In fact, it can be done with the cheapest of microphones and a little bit of know-how. I promise you're going to get tired of hearing that by the end. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is listen to it and and hear what 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 is happening. What exactly is it that we need to resolve in this? Pun intended. Um, what I hear is a very tinny, very thin sounding microphone, which is exactly what you'd expect from a nineteen dollar mo microphone. Now. What we're going to do first is we're going to work on the dynamics. So the dynamics are how this plays back. So the quiet parts are too quiet. The loud parts get too loud when people make that pop, 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 pop sound and it starts to blow out the mi microphone. All of that can be re fixed with a compressor. And we're going to go in here and we're in the Fairlight page in Resolve. Uh, this is, we're on track two. Right here, we're gonna click on dynamics. I'll double click. And you're going to see that we have several different things. We have an expander or a gate, we have a compressor, and we have a limiter. We wanna make sure that it's turned on, and we're going to loop this. To loop it, what we need to do is set an in point and an out point, and then all you have to do is hold down option, or control on PC, and then the forward slash. Getting good sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve does not have to be difficult at all. In fact, it can be done with the cheapest of microphones and a little bit of know-how. Getting good sounding quality. Now, what we've noticed here is you can see that the sound level only goes to about negative seven dB. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use a compressor, and the compressor is going to help bring up the quieter parts and kind of kill back, pull back a little bit on the the uh, louder parts. So we're going to play this over and over again. And I want you to watch. I'll try to talk what we're doing as we're doing it. Getting good sounding quality audio. So we're turn it on. Does not have so to be we difficult. just need to move In fact, this it can be done with the cheapest of microphones line right here by bit. using the threshold. No, no. Getting good sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve does not have to be difficult at all. In fact, it can be done with the cheapest Now, for a typical voiceover or this kind of, of speaking, you want to have a little bit of compression happening basically 
almost all the time. So you can see here what's happening. Everything below this line is is not being affected. As soon as it crosses this line in volume, then it's going to pull back the volume at a ratio of two to one. You see the line. So you could take this and you could pull it way back. That's going to not sound as good, but if you've got a lot of people that, that go all over the place with their audio, very loud, very, very quiet, uh, then you might need to use a little bit more compression. But I usually tend to stay around 2 to 2.5. We'll do 2.4. Now, we've got this leveled out where it's never going above 14 uh, decibels below. Let's do some makeup and let's get it to just under zero. does not have to be difficult at all. In fact, it can be done with the cheapest of microphones and a little bit of know-how. Getting good sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve now, does not have to be this is becoming quite loud, in fact, it which can is be done good. The cheapest of microphones uh, and a little bit. Now of that we've got that done, we can also go in there and we can take care of the little noises that happen. So let's listen. And when you when you bring up the level, we brought up the level twelve point nine uh, decibels right here. And when you bring up the level, you bring up the level of everything, including the mouth noises, the ah, the breath, all of those funny little sounding things. So let's listen this time and hear what we hear for breaths and clicks and, and mouth noises. Getting good sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve does not have to be difficult at all. In fact, it can be done with the cheapest of microphones and a little bit of know-how. Get so you can hear the little... Just kind of as I as I talk, this guy's a moron. I don't know why we're listening to him. So we're going to turn on and we're going to select gate. Now this line works the same way. Basically, we're going to move it with the threshold here to the point where the noises are just happening, and we want to go just beyond it without affecting our audio. So let's listen and see what it does. Getting good sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve does not have to be difficult at all. In fact, that does not sound it can natural. Be done with the cheapest let's pull of it microphones down. and a little bit of know-how. Getting good sounding quality audio and we'll in start DaVinci to affect Resolve the S's does not have to be difficult at all. Sounds. In fact, it so can be done with the more. cheapest of microphones and a little bit of know-how. Getting good sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve does not have to be difficult at all. In fact, it can be done with the cheapest of microphones and a little bit of know-how. Getting good sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve. Now if you watch right here, you can see every time there's a quiet, fact, the gate pulls in the at negative 20 and right? a little bit of know-how. Getting good sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve does not have to be difficult at all. In fact, it can be done with the cheapest of microphones and a little bit of know-how. Okay, so... That is the simplest dynamics, and these are the the settings that I typically go to most. You usually would want to use some type of compressor, and if you have any kind of noise in the background, it won't do complex noise, but it will get rid of the little tiny background sounds um, when there's no speaking. Uh, so a gate, which is a noise gate, and then a compressor are the two main dynamics I use, but I primarily use the compressor. Now, the next thing we want to do is work on the tone. And to look at the tone, we want to see what the actual microphone is picking up in that voice. And every single voice is different. So my voice has quite a bit of bass in it. I don't know why, maybe it's because I'm a giant. But I also have a little bit of high end in there as well, but my voice can also get really muddy and, and kind of uh, like some people's voices don't need any low end. They have a really nice, clear, crisp high. It just depends, but we need to visualize that. And typically what we're going for is to try to level out that voice as much as we can. So we're going to go here to the effects. Now, I'm going to end up using a tool, it's a plugin that does all of this in one, but it, and it costs about $150 and it really is worth its weight in gold. I use it all the time. But if you don't have $150, you don't want to buy a plugin, you could do both of these in, 
resolve for free. Uh, so what you would use down here uh, is a program under uh, metering, Firelight, and then we can do the uh, frequency analyzer. And what that's going to do is it's going to pop up on the screen. Getting good sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve does not have to be This is the actual all. frequency, fact, so you can, can kind of see the cheapest of what it looks like. And a little bit of no. So you can see it kind of rolls off quite a bit, and there's there's no low end and there's no high end. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close this one out because we're not going to use it. Uh, I'm going to use a different program called Pro Q3, uh, fantastic filter by, uh, by Fab Filter. Uh, but the EQ that we're going to be messing with is also available right here just by double clicking. You can bring up an equalizer, and you can do the very same things that we're doing. Uh, you won't be able to do as many of them. This one you can do, I believe, six. Yep, six. Um, but with uh, Pro Pro Q3, you'll see why I like it the most. But the principles are exactly the same. So we're going to go into here, and we're going to play this back. And uh, Pro Q3 has a cool feature where if you go down below here while it's playing back, it will actually freeze the average of the sound. So Getting good sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve does not have to be difficult at all. In fact, it can be done with the cheapest of microphones. So immediately, I'm starting to see peaks and valleys. Getting and good these we want to get rid audio of in DaVinci Resolve uh, because they are to be tones that at all. don't necessarily fact, help. It can be done so we get this one right here. So I'm just going to grab it. This is something I can do with Pro EQ. Getting good sounding quality Bring that down. audio in DaVinci Resolve does Let's not have to be difficult at all. In fact, it can be done with the cheapest of microphones and a little bit of know-how. Getting good sounding quality audio so in DaVinci Resolve does not have to be difficult at all. In fact, it can be done with the can cheapest of microphones one? and a little bit of know-how. Getting good sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve does here. not have to be difficult at all. In fact, it can be done with the cheapest of microphones 1. 4. and a little bit Pull that of know-how. Getting good sounding quality audio So we're trying to get this line right here does not to, have be to be flat. At all. In fact... It can be done with the cheapest of microphones. And so let's a start working on the rest of it. So you can see here we have no bass at all. It, it literally falls off at 200 hertz right there at 255. It just falls off like a rock. And then the same thing with the treble. At 7,500, it just falls down. Now, these right here are uh, what we, we were pulling down. Uh, what they are, there is a frequency. So if we look at this one, you can see the frequency is 1,421 hertz. The amount of decibels that I pulled down is roughly five. And then Q is the width. So if I move the Q, we're at nine, you can see what it's doing. There's a really wide one right there, and then that would be exceptionally narrow. And we're using the the automated functions here to pull down what it is detecting. But for your, if you're doing it on the free, then all you need to do is just look how wide that valley is or how wide that, that peak is and just adjust your cue to match that exact uh, shape and then pull it down the same. So if it goes up 10 decibels, pull it down 10 decibels. If it's as wide as this, then make the cue as wide as this. Got it? So now there's another type of EQ that we can do here. It's called a shelf. This is a high shelf. And a high shelf literally just takes from a certain area. So in this case, it's going to start at 8,000. And we're boosting the whole thing up. And then we're going to do the same thing on the low end. And we're going to come grab it and bring it over. Now, we have... A lot of gain here. This is this is a bad microphone. I would typically never want to go over 10 decibels. It's just, I mean, it's it's bad. But, you know, garbage in, garbage out. Let's hear what it sounds like now. Getting good sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve does not have to be difficult at all. In fact, it can be done with the cheapest of microphones and a little bit of know-how. Getting good sounding quality audio so in DaVinci Resolve does not have to be difficult at all. In fact, 
It can be done with the cheapest of microphones and a little bit of know-how. Getting good sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve does not have to be difficult at all. In fact, it can be done with the cheapest of microphones and a little bit of know-how. Getting good sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve does not have to be difficult at all. In fact, it can be done with the cheapest of microphones and a little bit of know-how. All right. Getting good now sounding let's go back quality and audio find some more in peaks. DaVinci Resolve does not have to be okay, difficult at all. Let's pull it down. In fact, it can be done with the Find cheapest the of one. microphones and a little bit of know-how. Getting good sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve right here, this does is the not muddiness. have to be difficult right at all. Around 400 hertz. In fact, it can be done with the cheapest of microphones and a little bit of know-how. Getting good sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve does right not have to bit. be difficult at all. In fact, it can be done with the cheapest of microphones and a little bit of know-how. Getting good sounding quality audio so this in is our Resolve S does right here. not have to be down. difficult at all. In fact, it can be done let's with do the, the cheapest of microphones let's find those valleys and a little bit bring those of know-how. Up. Getting good sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve does not have to be difficult at all. This a little in fact, it can be done with the cheapest of microphones and a little bit of know-how. Getting good sounding quality audio so in DaVinci Resolve does not have to be difficult at all. In fact, it can be done with the cheapest of microphones and a little bit of know-how. Getting good sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve does not have to be difficult at all. In fact, it can be done with the cheapest of microphones and a little bit of know-how. Getting good sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve does not Notice have to be difficult really at all. Here. In fact, it can up. be done with the cheapest of microphones and a little bit of know-how. Getting good sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve does Pull not have down. to be difficult at all. In fact, it can be done with the cheapest of microphones and a next. little bit of know-how. Getting good sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve does not have to be difficult at all. In fact, it can be done with the cheapest of microphones and a little bit of know-how. Getting good sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve does not have to be difficult at all. In fact, it can be done with the cheapest of microphones and a little bit of know-how. Getting good sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve does not have to be difficult at all. In fact, it can be done with the cheapest of microphones and a little bit of know-how. Getting good sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve does not have to be difficult at all. In fact, it can be done with the cheapest of microphones. Okay, so let's see what the difference in all of this makes because it's going to shock you. I'm just going to close that real quick. So we can turn them on and off right here. So we have our dynamics. Let's go through first and let's hear with no dynamics at all. And a little bit of know-how. Getting good sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve does not have to be difficult at all. In fact, it can be done with the cheapest dynamics. of microphones and a little bit of know-how. Getting good sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve does not have to be difficult at all. In fact, it can be done with the cheapest of microphones and a little bit of know-how. Getting So you can see it helps a little bit there. Okay, so let's now hear everything that we've done so far. So we're gonna double click on the dynamics and we're gonna turn them off. And let's listen. Getting good sounding quality audio it's very quiet. in DaVinci Resolve does not have to be let's difficult turn them on. at all. In fact, it can be done with the cheapest of microphones and a little bit of know-how. Getting good sounding quality audio yeah, in DaVinci Resolve on. does not very have to cute. be difficult at all. In fact, it can be done with the cheapest of microphones and a little bit of know-how. Getting good sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve does not have to be difficult at all. In fact, it can be done with the cheapest of microphones and a little bit of know-how. Getting good tweaking. sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve does not have to be difficult at all. So there's the difference. It's quite noticeable. Getting good sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve does not have to be difficult at all. In fact, it can be done with the cheapest of microphones and a little bit of know-how. Getting good sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve does not have to be difficult at all. In fact, it can be done with the cheapest of microphones and a little bit. Let's hear how it sounds without dynamics, but we still have the EQ. Getting good sounding quality audio in DaVinci Resolve does not have to be difficult at all. In fact, it can be done with the cheapest of microphones and a little bit of know-how. 
So that's it. That is the overall here. And again, you could use the EQ here to do the exact same thing that we're doing here. You have a shelf that you could do right here. This is the high shelf. Turn that on. And then you just drag it up wherever you'd like. And then you've got bands here in the middle. So let's just take four. And we'll go up or we'll go down, depending. We can adjust our cue. Same thing. So we can do everything we can do with with that Pro E3Q, Pro Q3 equalizer, we can do it on the equalizer here. But everything is all built into one here, which is really, really nice. And you can see, these are all the changes I had to make to undo what the sound of that microphone did. A typical microphone, a really good one, will be almost flat. Well, in reality, it should be, but they aren't. <laughs> so really, that's it. There's not a whole lot to it. The noise gate, you don't even really have to use that often, just every once in a while, depending on your sounds. The compressor is a great tool to use all the time. Equalizers really do a wonderful, well, effect on your voice. Now, it is also noted that you don't have to make everyone's voice flat. Different voice characteristics can benefit from different peaks and uh, pull downs on the equalizer. But you, you start to listen by ear to understand what people's voices sound like. My voice works really well, fairly even, although I do tend to, to boost just a little bit in the high end, just to, uh, just to make it a little bit more intelligible with my marbles in my mouth that I have. Um, but you can get it really close and you can get rid of all those peaks. And that's, that's the part that makes everything sound the worst and then level everything out and then kind of sculpt it how you want. Uh, I do strongly recommend that that Pro 3Q, Pro Q3, I don't know, I just click on it. Uh, it's like 150 bucks, I understand it's, it's pricey. It does go on sale like once a year, usually around Black Friday for about half price, sometimes, not always, uh, but it really is worth it. But any EQ will work. Um, there's also a plugin called Span, that uh, you can use to visualize. Uh, it's a little bit more responsive than the one within Resolve, but as you saw, we could do the whole thing using the free built-in plugins from Resolve. It's that easy. Let me know in the comment section down below, how did you think this actually sounded at the beginning and at the end? Because I was kind of shocked, actually. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna be able to get it to sound as good as I did. Uh, you let me know. Let me know down below, and uh, you remember to subscribe and be consider becoming a channel member. And thank you for these channel members right here. Uh, they have done a lot to help and support me, and I mean, be able to afford an eighteen dollar microphone to show you what you can do with it. And as always, as I like to leave it, don't let your passions center around your life. Let your life center around your passions.